Thank you for being a friend Travel down the road and back again Your heart is true You're a pal and a confidant And if you threw a party Invited everyone you knew You would see the biggest gift would be for me And the car attached would say Thank you for being a friend Alright guys, welcome back. It's Saturday, February 18th. It's the first time we've been together since the Super Bowl. Uh, didn't even do a video Monday. I was so depressed about that game. I mean, not making any excuses. They shouldn't have even been in a position that one call is, is going to be that detrimental to them. Um, it just stinks. They were there. They had it. They should have won. I think that... Uh, They'll be back. I think they might be back next year. We'll see. I don't know. Jalen Hurts rules. He's so good. I am so glad that they have him. Just whatever. Uh, move on. It's over. It's over. Can't get it back right now. Uh, unfortunately, that takes us into one of the deadest weeks. Uh, I mean, it's really not, but it just feels like an ultra dead week here. Last NBA was on Thursday. Uh, it's because the All-Star game is, is tomorrow. Last NBA was on Thursday. The last couple couple days of NBA just kind of stunk because nobody's really playing because they got the All-Star game coming up. Got the Skills Challenge stuff today. Uh, All-Star game tomorrow. Daytona tomorrow. We got NHL. Although, there, you know, the past couple days wasn't a huge slate of that. College basketball. Past couple days, not a great slate there. We got a million games today, a million hockey games today. NBA uh, All Star Skills Challenge. So we got a couple things, but the NBA is not back until Thursday, which pfft, that's it's tough. I mean, <clears throat> I do like hockey. Don't I? Which I love hockey. I do like hockey. It's not enough. It's not enough. And college basketball, I love, but on its own regular season it's not enough either that especially through the week it it's not enough you need the nba right now you need the nba and missing it for a week like this stinks but enough of that let's do a quick recap and then we'll get on to our picks for today so let's recap <laughs> not a great day for the guys yesterday uh even though it has been a pretty good month so far, can't complain too much about that. Um, I was one and two yesterday. I'm 15 and nine on the month, um, up 7.88 units. Yesterday was tough because I had John Rahm, uh, three ball. He bogeyed 18 to lose that for me, which was a killer. I had Oilers money line. They were up four to one after the first period and they lost five to four. In fact, they were tied with, I think, two minutes left and they gave up a goal to lose it. So that was was devastating because I, I was that close to a 3-0. Vinny was 1-2 yesterday. He's 10-11 and 11 on the month. He's up 2.85 units. Karm was 1-2 yesterday. He's 10-11. and 11. I think they've had the same record the entire month. He's down 1.29 units. Chris was 1-2 yesterday. He's 7-17. Seven and 17. He's down 9.62 units. Sean was one and two yesterday. He is 13, 10, and one. He is up 1.14 units. Spencer was two and one yesterday. Nice day for him. He's 15, eight, and one on the month. He's up 5.64 units. And Wilkie by far had the best day out of anybody. He had Max Homa to be the leader after the second round, which was like plus 280. He is 11 and 13 on the month, and he has jumped himself into the positive. He's up 0 0.02 units. So as you can see, we got five out of seven positive. Karm is super close. Chris is the kind of guy that can turn that around here the second half of the month. So, so I'm feeling good about where we're at right now. I think it's only this this week is going to be tough, though. I'm telling you, if we can get out of this week, even where we're at right now, the, the very end of the month there, I think we're going to be able to. But we got to make it through this. So let's take a look at our locks. <laughs> All right, so I got Indiana minus five and a half, Kentucky money line, and Kennesaw State minus six and a half. 
So Vinny sent a pick in last night. So I only have one for him because I haven't heard from him yet today. Seattle Sea Dragons minus one and a half. And he's going three units on the Sea Dragons. We have all kind of picked an XFL team. Um, I, I can't remember who has who. I'm going to make a list. I got the Arlington Renegades. So I'm assuming Vinny has the Sea Dragons. We'll get the list put together. But for right now, that's all I have from Vin. Have not heard from Carm yet either. When I do, I'll get his picks out there as well. Chris, first time in history. He's going all NHL. Never thought I'd see the day. Absolutely love it. Chris, certified hockey guy. He's got Predators money line, Penguins money line, and Calgary Flames money line. Sean, he's got Panthers money line, Avs money line, Bruins minus one and a half. Spencer, he's got Mac McClung to win the dunk contest. Absolutely love it. Virginia minus 12 and a half and UConn minus 10. And Wilkie, he's got Renegades money line, Roughnecks money line, two leg parlay. Uh, Tyler Harrow, three point winner, three point contest winner and Nova money line. All right, so what's going to get it going today? You know, we're sticking with House Whiskey. Absolutely love it. You know it's my favorite. It's here every single week. Switching it up a little bit here, going Trogues Dog and Nectar, one of my all-time favorite beers. I've talked about it many times. I've done it many times uh, on this very show. <coughs> so we're done talking about the Super Bowl. We're moved on. We're moved on. Uh, moved on to... Heartbreak from yesterday with John Rahm and the Oilers. Um, does not look like Embiid's going to play in the All-Star game. Good. Fuck him. Not him. Fuck the NBA. Uh, Sixers. We'll see. This second half, it, it's going to be interesting. Um, I, I'd love to say I got a ton of confidence in him, but Boston is tough. Boston is tough. I'm not super concerned about the Bucs. They're very good, though. Um, March Madness right around the corner. Cannot wait. Kicks off St. Patrick's Day weekend. Uh, very, very excited for that. I, I, I need a break from football. I, I'm emotionally drained from the Eagles season. Uh, I, I'll be more than ready when it comes back, but I need something else. Getting excited about baseball, too. Um, especially, it, like... It's like almost 70 degrees the other day here, which is just like, holy shit, it's spring. So starting starting to make that transition. It's just, it's been tough because we had no snow this year. What the fuck? Sucks. Absolutely sucks. All right. Here we go. All right, this one's for you, Steve. That's cold, but fuck, that's good. Oh, love that beer. Love that beer. Oh. Amazing. All right, guys, we will be back tomorrow. Like I said, we got the NBA All-Star Game and Daytona 500 tomorrow. Um, do all the things. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Check out the merch store. We got a ton of great stuff up there. I know we haven't gotten anything new up in a long time. I am I am slowly trying to work on a couple things. Hopefully, I can get them up soon. But like I said, we'll be back tomorrow. And then we'll start the whole thing over again on Tuesday. Until then, I love you guys. Let's cash some bets.
<laughs> oh my god. Oh. Damn, I didn't think I was going to get through that sentence. Oh, fuck me. <laughs>